Fault line cakes. I made two of them, you guys. I used that idea to create two spectacular landscapes. Isn't that fun? Hey guys, my name is Kobe Bryant. Let's get started. He's the only basketball player I know, okay? That, oh, hold on. Kaepernick, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, what else? Michael Jordan. The, their meta, meta world peace? Is that one? I don't, I'm not sure. Now before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and the notification bell. Did you do it? Good. Cause now you'll be able to see all of my videos as soon as they go up. You're welcome. I reminded you, huh? I'm such a good friend. <laughs> now to create these landscape cakes, I'm starting with six inch round cakes. We're using Funfetti, and on the inside, I'm swirling colors that represent the colors on the outside. So first, I'm using pink and just stacking three six inch cakes. I love the way the inside of this looks. It looks so spectacular. Usually I don't spend that much time on the inside because I've got to focus so much on the outside, but because fault line cakes are so simple, it was very easy for me to take time to appreciate the inside of this cake as well. Now we got a crumb coat and then I'm going to ice into the fridge for probably about like four hours. I was watching a whole bunch of Downton Abbey. <laughs> Downton Abbey back again. Da -da 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 with a little inkling slang. I needed to make sure that the inside of this cake and the outside of this cake set up completely because it would be really hard to pull away some of the, you'll see, you'll see in a little bit. Now on went my first coat of buttercream and I'm using a very light, almost like a peach. Let's see, what is this? So the first color is like sun drenched. Oh, just spill it all over me. So we're using a little bit of sun drench and I'm covering the top of the cake. I'm not covering the cake completely because there's gonna be more buttercream towards the bottom of the cake. I'm using a whole bunch of different colors. Now I'm using some white buttercream to create some clouds. And because this is kind of an abstract cake, I'm just using my spatula to shape each of my clouds. There's not a lot of technique going on. <laughs> I needed to create some stencils to make my mountain tops. So the first stencil, I'm placing a little bit, a, well, a lot higher than the rest of my cake. And then I'm adding on my next color of buttercream, which is like a, ooh, it's like a nectarine. Why did I pronounce it like that? A nectarine. And I'm doing the exact same thing that I did with the sun drenched. I'm just using a spatula and smoothing it out. I'm not covering the bottom completely because there's gonna be another coat of buttercream there. So he got me smoothing it out, smoothening it out. And this is my favorite part. Because the cake is cold, the buttercream on the outside is able to set up and so I can pull away my template and reveal this awesome mountain top. Oh gosh, look, look at that. You think this is bomb? Just wait, it's gonna get even more spectacular. So I'm adding a second stencil, wrapping it around my cake. We're gonna cover the second layer of buttercream. This is like so much more orange. We got a tangerine dream is what it is. Have you ever had an orange dream from Jamba Juice? Oh man, this is bringing back some memories. Applying it all over my cake, spreading it out with a spatula and then smoothening it out with my cake scraper. Fun part again, pull away the stencil and you got your second layer. Now we're gonna repeat that process again, applying our stencil and then we're gonna be using, I think this is more of a red orange. Okay, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. What color is this? It is like an I don't think I'm gonna pronounce that right. We're gonna choose a different color. Amor. That means loved one. Mi amor. Am I right? Am I rolling my tongue in the right way? I don't know. Even this color, even when I spread it out, it doesn't cover the bottom completely because there's two more colors coming this way. Ooh, it's like a mahogany cherry. What does that taste like? Is that an actual fruit? I don't know. 
So we got some mahogany cherry on the bottom and then to finish this off, I'm just free handing the last layer of buttercream, which is this black buttercream. Smoothing it out, no stencil necessary. Just making sure I got the bottom covered. Now after that, I'm using the same colors to create some tree outlines. Now the trees get smaller and smaller as I'm creating the lighter colors because that means that the trees are further off in the distance, so they would be smaller. The larger trees are gonna be on the mahogany cherry and the black. Ta-da! My first landscape fault line cake was complete. Wouldn't you want to visit that? What time of day is that? That is pretty. Is that golden hour? I think so. Oh wow, that looks like the Yosemite Valley, doesn't it? I went there once. I want to go there again, but I don't know if I'm ready for another 10 hour hike, to be honest. Now once I finished with that, I went on and started to create my second cake, which is kind of a lie because I did these simultaneously. That's why the footage looks very similar. <laughs> But because I'm making sort of a bluish sky, I'm using blue on the inside. But the same sprinkles, because I think it looks pretty. We got six inch round cakes going through the exact same process. I'm just blending my blue and white buttercream to create a bomb looking crumb coat. After that, it was time to add my first layer of buttercream to the outside. What is this though? This would be like a sanctuary spa, but it's like diluted with a lot of white. And I'm adding my first stencil, and then I'm gonna add my next color. And we got like a frozen lake, not very vibrant, but it's still pretty beautiful. Adding on these stencils is probably one of my favorite things to do, just because there's a lot of excitement when you know that you're gonna pull it off and reveal like, it's like artwork. It is artwork, isn't it? Well, cake, art, work, around there, something like that. Ooh, these are all like really gray. So the next one, we got a little bit of a stormy sea. Another dark grayish blue. Then I do the fun part, pull it off, pull it off, pull it off. Wow, look at that. Then I put on my next layer which is an even darker. I think I think it's all on the same card actually. So the next layer is a midnight haze, which is the last color on this card. Last but not least, I'm creating the last layer with black icing. Now you gotta be extra careful with this because there is no stencil to cover your smudge. Then I started to add trees. Little trees, bigger trees. This is when it starts to look like a sky. Oh gosh, Pocahontas would be so proud of this cake. Oh, I really do feel like I'm painting with the colors of the wind. Oh, I forgot to add clouds, so let's do that now. Ta-da! My second fault line landscape cake was complete. What do you think? You know what, I don't care what you think because I love it. <laughs> this would be a great cake for a mountaineer or any of those girls that do like the heart shape at sunset in front of mountains. They'd probably like this cake too. So many of those girls live in Los Angeles. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope this gave you some ideas. I love you guys. I will see you very soon. Peace. <laughs>